On Galaxy A7, you get Android 4.4 KitKat, although I think that the Lollipop 0.5 uh, upgrade should be available already and uh, I'd say it should work uh, same as good as this one, maybe even better. Uh, the built-in chipset is Snapdragon 615, uh, which is like uh, some higher middle range. Uh, it's got a 4-core processor with 1.8 uh, GHz and Adreno 405 graphics chip and 2 GHz of RAM. Now, there are different chipsets for Galaxy A7, but I had this one, which is the strongest one. Uh, so you might buy some other chipset that is a bit uh, weaker. Um, but still, you can see that Galaxy A7 is a higher performing device than Galaxy A5. On and to do benchmark, you get 25 to 35 frames per second on Full HD 1080p resolution, which is, you know, pretty good, pretty okay. And in the end, uh, the device scores almost uh, 49,000 points, which is like uh, just a thousand less than what you get on HTC One M9 that has a more advanced chipset. While playing games, uh, you don't see grain on details. The frame rate is pretty good, so you know it, it's enjoyable to play, you know, games on this 5.5-inch uh, display, and you know the device is not bulky. Uh, you can feel some twitching while playing games, but you know, it works pretty fluid and fine. The interface looks pretty fast, you know, you get 16 gigabytes of internal memory, which is really enough for all the installation files. The application of the camera turns on after just a second, maybe second and a half. And the first snapping is instantaneous, so even if you install a bunch of applications and games, I think that A7 will still uh, work pretty good. You just have to turn off uh, the updates on Google Play Store because you know it slows down the device when it's updating all the time in the background. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. In the end, you know, I can say that A7 is a pretty fast device. Uh, it's almost fast as HTC One M9 or LG G3 with 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, of course, it's a little bit slower than Note 4. And it's not as fast as Galaxy S6, but still this is very good and it's better than the Galaxy A5.